What is style? Your style is a collection of things that you like. Everyone has a style, whether they realize it or not. And when it comes to photography, it's your style that you apply to your images to give you your unique look. Today's video is all about the Fujifilm X100F and how my style has evolved because of it. I'm gonna look at a film simulation, the classic chrome profile, and compare some before and after images of my edits versus the film simulation. So we all know about the film simulations on this camera. It's one of the reasons why they became so popular. You have film simulations baked right into your JPEGs to give you a specific look. Now this, the X100F, was one of the first cameras that had the classic chrome profile. I saw it online and I knew that was the look that I wanted to get. Now, I'm a photographer who takes quite a lot of pride in editing all of my own images, so why would I care about a JPEG simulation? Especially when, if you shoot RAW, it doesn't actually embed that into the RAW file. Well, what it all comes down to is when you're looking through your camera and deciding what you're going to take a shot of, I want the back of the camera to show me something that's as close as possible to what the final edit is going to look like. And for me, because I love the classic chrome look, I know that my edits in Lightroom are going to look very similar to the actual JPEG. Sometimes I just use the JPEG instead of editing it because it's quicker and I know that that's exactly what I want it to look like. A big part of having a photographic style is being able to look at something and know that you like it. So I can look through the back of this camera and I know the rich, dark, deep shadows and crisp blacks are exactly what I want to get in the edit. So when I'm framing something up, I can tell how it's going to look after I edit it, which was just a massive step forward for me when you don't really have a clue and you're just shooting anything. Suddenly I can look through the back of the camera and see something that I really like. So without further ado, let's go on a walk and take some pictures. So today we're heading out on a walk over to Shoreditch to take some pictures and show you a behind the scenes look my edits versus the JPEGs from Classic Chrome. I don't expect to get any particularly amazing images today. The light was a little bit flat, so it's kind of like a practice run. Here are some pictures that I took in the overground station. On the way down, I noticed this nice slither of light, so I took a picture there, and this football field, which I've never seen before. After we got out of the overground station, we had a look around Shoreditch and I noticed some people playing football, so quite a quick snap of that, before moving down towards Shoreditch High Street. Immediately what you'll start to notice is that the edited RAWs look very similar to the classic Chrome profile. This is what I was talking about. I've taken the bits that I really enjoy from it, like contrast and deep shadows, and I'm adding my own little twist by just lightening things up and colour coordinating a little bit more. I was quite happy with this shot and how it turned out as well. Thankfully the sun started to come out a little bit more and the light got a little bit more interesting. Some of these images I wouldn't really bother saving or posting, but just to give you a behind the scenes look, I thought I'd keep them included and in how I would edit them if I was going to post something. I think if you're out wandering the streets and see a Porsche, it's mandatory to take at least a few pictures. I quite liked how these came out and the reflections on the car. I was walking down the street here and saw a commotion up ahead, so I wondered what it could be. It was actually a street chess match, which made some pretty cool shots if I say so myself. I quite liked how these turned out. With the sun coming out a little bit more, I headed over to Columbia Road Flower Market. I really like this shot actually of Temple Cycles and then repairing the bike, as well as the street sign. As I was walking down this street, I could see on the left that there was going to be quite an amusing dog encounter of a very big one versus a very small one, so I got some shots of that before moving around and having a look at what was going on at some of these stalls.
I think this is actually one of my favorite shots from the day as someone just taking a quick smoke break from the restaurant. And before long, I just headed over to get some food from Spitalfields Market. Here are some of the shots that I got throughout the day, which I didn't get any footage of taking. Those kind of desaturated shadows, the deep blacks, really crunchy contrast. I can tell that I picked those up quite early in my photography journey. I've integrated that into my style and it's something that I look to use in every single picture. That's just what I like. I have a real affinity for that. And all of that came from the classic chrome simulation on the Fuji X100F. So people might think, especially professional photographers, that perhaps those JPEG simulations are a little bit of a gimmick. And sure, maybe they are, but they're also instrumental in helping people find out a look that resonates with them that they can carry through into a body of work later in their photographic journey. That's definitely what happened for me, and I really enjoy shooting it even now because it's just so simple and easy. I can see what it is that I want to see through the viewfinder every single time.